I'm nervous before every fucking PT test. I want to be able to call them and say, look, give me something that's going to help me progress as a leader. Every time he hears my name, it's on some good shit. One is Diaz, it's your boy Daz coming in. Uh, good morning, it's uh, 7.20. There's nothing better for me to get up in the morning and smack PT in the fucking mouth. Uh, uh, uh. I've been doing extremely well. I don't know if y'all can tell, I've been slimming down a little bit. I'm at 2.22, so I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I was gonna take the day off today because I've been I've been going hard. Um, but seeing the results for me is what makes me really go. So I was at a... Uh, 225 yesterday and i was like damn if i would have stayed in the gym 10 20 more minutes ran a couple more miles one more mile um damn i would have been so that that's what i did i pretty much exhausted myself today thought i was gonna pass out uh, i i keep water with me i don't fuck around I, I i have a bottle before uh bed i have a bottle in the morning and I, I, and I have one with me while i'm running so what i've been doing i've uh if you guys can see this i'm, I'm not promoting their product you know, I ain't trying to, they ain't paying me shit. It's a uh, unrelenting energy, multi-phase male performance, super suspension thermogenic, all that good shit. They're liquid cap, uh, capsules, can't talk. And uh, they're, they're pretty good. So I haven't been drinking coffee and this is the reason why. I, I guess it's a lot of fucking um, caffeine in it. It, it, it specifically says don't take anything with caffeine uh, while taking this. But yeah, I've, I've been doing it. Um, yesterday, all I had, uh, I didn't eat breakfast. I skipped breakfast. I know breakfast is pretty important, but I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to get to a certain goal. And I understand sacrifice to buy out the cut fatty foods off and not drink, which is going to be fucking hard. I don't think I'm an alcoholic, but I usually like to have a beer or two. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can. The PT test is uh, the third or the seventh or third through the seventh. I think it's that Monday through Thursday or whatever. So my goal is 220. But if, if I'm already 220, two, and it's freaking the second of March, I, I don't think I have a problem. I was worried about my knees hurting, but I mean, I, they've been doing okay. They've been doing good. And so it seemed like the more I do it, the less, you know, so I, I'm, I'm um, I don't know, I'm nervous. I, I think for me, I want to perform well. You know, like I said, me as a staff sergeant, I, I get ranked against, you know, one through how many staff sergeants are in the company. And I, I want to be in that top fucking five. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like all the all the staff sergeants, I'm like, shit, and ain't, ain't that many motherfuckers better than me. So I want to make sure that, you know, it's known out there. So, you know, military schools, PT, uh, performance, you know, all that shit matters. So um, I, I want to perform extremely well. I don't want to just do good. So I'm working my ass off. I'm in the, literally, literally, I'm working myself to death. Cause like I said, it, it bothers me. I'm nervous before every fucking PT test, every one of them. My heart is, cause I, what I would, what I would hate is to do all this work and losing this weight and in the gym and then get out there and PT test and not perform well. Um, it's never happened, but you know, I just always feel like it can, it can, you know, I catch a cramp or my knee is fucking hurting that day or whatever it may be, you know, I, I, that's what I, that's what I really like fear the most because, you know, that, that shit goes on my records. I don't know if you guys know, but the E7 board, um, will be convening, conveying, convening, convening, conveying, uh, it'll be conveying in May or June, June, June. So, uh, I have all this time. I, I have to do another DA photo. I'll, I'll get my uniform ready this weekend. Um, take another DA photo. I have the PT test in April, and um, right now I'm currently in unit movement, deployment officer course, and I'm hoping to take TC Ames uh, to functional course in May before we go to NTC. So I'm trying to do a lot of big things. Um, I just saw my wife wrote on the calendar for this month that we have 10 freaking months until we leave Alaska. Um, I was, I was trying to ask her if she wanted to extend so we won't have to drive in this fucking weather. Um, you guys saw how it was coming up here. Um, driving through Canada was effing ridiculous. And I, I really wanted to avoid that. Because um, I, I would like to go through Canada. I mean, I'm sorry, through um, Arizona. I'm still sweating. And this is how you know this shit is serious. Even after I shower and I'm, I'm, I've been at the gym for at least 30 minutes now and I'm, I'm still sweating. Like, it, it, it does it for real. So, but anyway, yeah, I, I really wanted to travel across country while it was, you know, 
summertime, you know. And then, um, you know, it, I just I hate it that, you know, Corey got to go to school to school like this. But uh, I guess it'd be all right. I'm, 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 I'm sure he will. Um, he's, he's doing pretty good. At, you know, so the last school he was there for, I want to say like um, a complete year, a complete year. And then we came to this school and he'll be, he'll be here for, let me see, January through May. Then he'll be, then he'll, he'll graduate second grade. And then he'll go to third and he'll be there from, what, September? And then he, don't say he got to fucking move again. Jesus. But um, I'm sure we'll be all right. Well, I said, I won't know where we're going until maybe uh, May or June after, after NTC. But like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping to, uh, I, I don't really don't want to hope. I want to be able to call them and say, look, give me something that's going to help me progress as a leader. What I, what I said, I really want the warrant officer. I am desperately waiting for my month in secret clearance. Uh, that's what I really need. That's what I really need. But all those wondering what's up with the packet. I have everything else in line, uh, minus a couple of few things besides the secret clearance. And that's, that's what I really need. Um, I, I had to get a waiver for this stupid ass tattoo I put on my neck when I was a dumb, dumb, dumb person. So if you guys come to the army and you wonder, don't, don't get that shit. I mean, I, I can get a waiver, um, but the waivers just look bad. You know, I just, I just feel like I really don't want to get anything, but I have to. I have to get, um, I have to get approval by the battalion commander that you know this shit and this shit is okay, Spider Man. So it shouldn't be a problem. Me and the BC are pretty cool. But every time he hears my name, it's on some good shit. You know what I'm saying? I think I'll be okay with that. But I mean, what I'm getting ready to do is because it's, it's cutting so close to the deadline, I'm gonna get everything done, you know, that I have to do on my part, letters of recommendation, um, the medical part, and then, you know, hopefully all I can do is hope that the security clearance will come in this year and I can submit my packet. I feel pretty strongly about my shit. All right, um, the, the time that I've been in, the amount of knowledge that I have, the, the type of units that I've been in, Seaport Operations Company, Inland Cargo Transportation Company, Field Artillery. So I've, I have a, a, a vast knowledge of a little bit of everything. I, I gotta wake Corey up in a little bit. Um, I'm excited and nervous at the same time because this, I mean, it'll be 15 years for me this year and I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to make moves. I mean, I don't want to make E7, but I do. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't want to be like, like E7 isn't shit, but I, I just feel like for me at this point in my career with all this knowledge, I need to be warrant officer. I need to be an 882 Alpha mobility officer, making shit happen. That's that's honestly how I feel. That's that's what I want. Anyway, so I'm I'm hyped. I ain't gonna blab no more. It's already eight minutes and 42 seconds. I just want to say hello. I know I ain't been on the vlogs lately. I'm currently take look. I'm taking college courses. And I'm in the military school right now, and I still gotta be squad leader. I got NCOERs, I'm, I'm, I'm doing COAs, and I'm doing um, AAM, so I'm booked. When my wife says that I'm in the bed at 10 o'clock, that's what, that's what uh, I, I need my sleep, especially if I'm getting up at five in the morning, you know, and uh, staying up and studying and doing all this stuff, so. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, one more thing. I want you guys to get some of those stuff. I, I do wanna say that uh, I am working on my, on my man channel. Noise. I don't believe in ghosts and shit, but some some shit just fell outside. Ain't nobody out there. My wife's still sleeping. My kids, I don't know fuck that one. Anyway, uh, so I want to work on the man channel, not a man channel, but just a channel for males, those that are interested in the military. You got questions? I'm your guy, subject matter expert. For the most part, I know everything. If I don't know, I know where to go get the, uh, the answer. I don't know, you wanna talk about cars? You know, shit like that. Just stuff that, you know, probably females aren't, aren't interested in, or maybe they are, but I'll, I'll try to be more uh, more vocal. I know I always say that shit, but it's, it's, it'll be a lot easier if I had my own camera. If I had my own, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can take it more to work. You guys can see the class. Um, just stuff like that. I, I want to be here for you guys. Alright, I'm out though. It's like 10 minutes. Sorry. Hey everybody, so I'm currently editing. There's Desmond's face when he edited the vlog. <laughs> and I noticed that Desmond spoke a lot, which I appreciate. But today's vlog with his footage would have been like 40 minutes long. Maybe less than that, but it was going to be a really long vlog. So I decided to just 
cut it in half so you guys will see the rest of this day's vlog tomorrow anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed everything that he said i certainly did i was like captivated even though i had to edit all his ums because he says um a lot a lot even though i do too but he says it more anyway so i hope that you guys enjoyed this if you guys have any army related questions his job he's an 88 mike um anything about warrant officer anything about joining the military boot camp any of those questions comment them below and please like this video if you want desmond to have his own channel i want him to have his own channel i feel like i watch a lot of army videos because i'm so interested in what you know my husband does and y'all know i've been wanting i kind of wanted to join the army that went downhill there was like a month where i was like yeah you know i'm gonna lose weight i think i'm gonna join but i don't think i can i don't think i can i can't i can't be away from my babies <sighs> I don't know anyways so yeah comment down below tell Ch desmond to create his own channel please i know he'd be busy but you know what i might just create it for him i might just create it for him you guys so look down in the info box down below and see if i put a link to his new channel and if i did go subscribe to it so i could show him like babe everybody's already subscribed to you and i'll put like a picture of him in his military uniform uh, so yeah, just look below if it's not there. I haven't created it, but all right now I'm talking a lot Anyways, if you like this video, please give us and Desmond a big thumbs up and Subscribe to our channel and you guys will see us tomorrow. Peace out